Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is 6.30 a.m. Monday, March 25th. And as you can see, there is snow. Um, yeah, there's snow. I left Miss Pina at home. She was madder than I don't know what <laughs> because all the school districts around us have closed and ours has not. So she's mad and I'm just like, I don't know what to tell you. So I just let her stay home with her dad. But as you can see, I am on my way down the road. I'm actually in the suburbs, so the streets look a whole lot different. They're wet, yes. Um, look a whole lot different than um, the city streets. Uh, but yeah. And suburbs, they always get cleared first. Like I see a independent plower right now coming through um but you know we're made for this we're minnesotans i will say one thing about this snow compared to other snow um this is that heavy wet snow this is the snow that will give a person a heart attack because it's so heavy when you try to shovel it so i am praying um it's 35 degrees right now i am praying that by the time I get off work, the temp will go up into the 40s at least. If it goes into the 40s, that will melt some of this. Um, because I can't have my husband, who is sick still with that cough, trying to shovel anything. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but, yes, this is the good old Minnesota, right? And on days like today when roads are not so great, I will be taking main roads as opposed to side roads. Side roads give me comfort, but main roads are a little bit better when it comes to this kind of stuff. Because at least we know snow emergency roads have been plowed first. Uh, side roads have not. So, like, where I live, I live on a side road. So, yeah, that road has not been plowed. I literally had to back out of my space as opposed to pulling forward. So, yeah. Lovely, huh? Just lovely, lovely, lovely. But, wanted to show... Those who love the snow, yes, Minnesota got their snow. So they're calling it the spring, spring, um, what do they call it? Spring snow showers. They call it snowmageddon. Um, they got all kind of little, you know, names and stuff. Um, I'm trying to think what street should I, I think I'm just going to do one turn. So we're just going to continue on down the road here continue on down the road there's this vehicle that's behind me that's been behind me for a while i've been trying to get away from this vehicle i kid you not like every time we get to a intersection where we gotta stop i swear he doesn't seem like he's stopping so i just continue to roll through the stop sign i'm just like yeah it, we're not doing that because dude and it's like he'll roll up on me too so i'll be turning in just a second like i'm stopping now he is still coming full speed so as you see your girl's gone. Let me go ahead and turn because, oh, Lord. Um, but yeah, this is my morning. So now you get to see the city side streets. This is what I'm talking about. The streets are not plowed and stuff. Like, you literally got to find your groove, tire grooves. This is the infamous snow and what we go through. And once again, I don't need to hear, oh, please be careful, boss lady. What do you think I'm doing? That's why you're not looking at me and I'm not looking at you. You're looking at streets. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And if another staff person asks me, matter of fact, I just got a text. If another person asks me, do we have do we have school today? They might get cussed out. I literally had to go and get me some coffee this morning, talk to my girls, because I'm like, for real, like, seriously, people don't know how to turn on the internet. I mean, even if you don't watch TV, you can at least turn on the internet. Go to the, the school website. You don't see it say nothing. Go to the district website. You don't see it say nothing. So why would you be purposely texting me early in the morning? My counterpart's not here today. Hurt my little soul when he texted me last night told me he wasn't coming. I was like, what? <sighs> so yeah, so anyway, you can't even see me. You can't even see me. But your girl got her coffee. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God.
Mm. 638. I'm not going to get too much enjoyment out of it right now. I'm going to wait until... I'm going to wait until um, I get inside. I'll probably reheat it so it's good and hot and then tear it up. But I will tune back in after work. Hey, y'all. <laughs> it's boss lady. I'm coming back. Oh, my gosh. So we had more staff go off about having to come to work today than a little bit. It was a good thing I went and got my coffee because, baby... Let me tell you, I had one staff person ask me, come in, asking me, why didn't the school close? When I tell you, it took all I had not to lose my mind. I'm not even kidding. Oh, did she hit him? Oh my God, I think she hit, oh, I think she hit that test. Let me pull my nose about that business, look at him. As long as you don't hit this Benz, we good. But she done hit that Tesla. Oh, my God. He sure did get out. Oh, my God. He sure did get out. Whew. Retired police officer. Oh, she backed up and hit that man's Tesla. See? See? <laughs> now you see why I be like, don't hit my car. Blah, blah, blah. Child. Whew. All right, let me go and get my child. So I'm going home to go get Miss Peanut to take her to work. <sighs> she might be late today, though, because I mean, the roads are bad. All slushy and sloshy and everything else. Oh, my God. Did he let her leave? I'm trying to see. He got out, checked his car. And he parked. I didn't see nothing on his car, but I mean, ooh. child, he let her go. Mm. She got lucky. And let me tell you, because she's an employee, I think that might have been a parent or something. Honey, I would have been having a mm fit. You hit my mm -mm car. I need your insurance right now. But uh, anyway, so I had a person come to me, Miss Sharon. How come the schools is not closed? I must have turned around and my boss is in her office, her door wide open. I said, I am going to refrain from answering your question because I am an employee of the district. I don't make the rules. I said, so, good morning. See you later in the day. They look like, uh, because she was joking, but I didn't take it as a joke. Then... <laughs> Let me tell you. We were at our morning. I had three meetings back to back to back. The first meeting, we call it like a, a jam session. But, and they normally go around, does anybody have anything they need to, you know, share with the group? Da, da, da. I was like, for those who contact me about your whereabouts, I'm going to need you to contact me after 6.30 in the morning. I said, because this morning, I was contacted at five something. I was asleep, and my husband heard the phone. I said, now, he know this is part of my job, but listen here, be respectful. Okay? I'm like, nobody in the group, but I, I had to let it be known, because I was like, um... And he wasn't all grouchy, like, you know. But still, I was grouchy. Because I was, he was looking at me like, uh, you okay? Yeah, I tell you, I'm fussing. I was fussing. I went and got that coffee. And I was like, let me hurry and give me some coffee in my system. Because, and I even came to the meeting with, the, I said, look, I got my coffee this morning because, baby, let me tell you something. Okay. They was like, so you're saying you don't want to be texted anymore? No, what I'm saying is text me after 6.30 because I get up at 6.15. Anything before then, um, no telling what kind of response you're going to get. So if you don't want me cussing you out, be respectful of my time. Shoot. And I'm not the district. I'm like, please and thank you. But anyway, 
everybody's mad because we should have had a snow day. We did not. Then, um, it's supposed to be bad weather tomorrow, too. And they ain't closing the schools. Child, whatever. But let me put a pen in y'all, and I'll be back after I drop off Miss Peanut. Okay, I'm back. I just uh, pulled up to drop off Miss Peanut. She got a tooth newt. Lord of mercy. <laughs> One of her teachers. So I emailed all her teachers today to say, you know, let them know that she was having a, um, she was doing a snow day, mental health day. And uh, she'll be back to school tomorrow or whatever. One of her teachers responds with, um, um, she, <laughs> one of the teachers responded and he said, oh, well, we're starting a new project. She can get started early on it. It's, you know, it's in the, the Google Classroom thing. So I sent that information to Miss Peanut. Miss Peanut said, mom, I'm taking a mental health day. I said, Okay. Because I didn't care one way or the other. I mean, Miss Pena got straight A's, y'all. Straight A's. And she has the right to take a mental health day because sometimes she gets too too much and she needs to, you know, take a breather. So, she fine. Hey, everybody. It's the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle. Waiting for Miss Pena to get inside work so I can go home. Getting ready to go home and fry some chicken. I haven't fried chicken probably since New Year's. Oh, but it is what it is. I didn't know what else to cook today, and I haven't cooked in probably two days. So, <laughs> yeah, I haven't cooked since, well, what's today, Wednesday? So, I haven't cooked in three days. Well, this no, technically two, because today is Wednesday. Um, why are you looking all suspect and crazy? Anyway, child, look, I deal with my own staff. I can't deal with nobody else's staff because they don't want none of me. <laughs> Who, y'all, I'm in a whole nother headspace right now. Very, very frustrated. I got a pos uh, position. I got a point of my job that I don't clearly understand and know. And so it's bothering me trying to figure it out. Oh, my goodness. And then there's this person who just like he's he agitates me. Too too vocal in the morning, too colorful in the morning. I'm just like, can you shut your mouth? Basically, that's just can you shut your mouth? Cause seriously, I don't want to I don't want to deal with all the, the rah-rah and the nonsense early in the morning. I'm trying to get, you know, my stuff done. So I was just like, whew. I told, I told, um, one of my bosses, I said, it's just, it's too much. I said, you know, I like it quiet in the morning, do what I gotta do, and if I need help, then I ask. If I don't need help, don't bother me. Oh. <laughs> anyway, my boss said I'm very type A, which I already knew. Um, I have very, very, very high expectations for myself. She said higher than what she has. I was like, oh, but I don't like doing stuff, you know, haphazard or whatever. <sighs> Come on, y'all. Oh, we, we got snow still. I don't know if you can see it out the side window, but yeah, there's still snow out here. It was so bad yesterday. Luckily, Miss Pena's job canceled work for her well all after school programs sports activities everything was canceled um yesterday which was tuesday thank god but um of course she had to go work today and no school has not been canceled for us at all we've been back and forth to school um plenty 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 of accidents everywhere but praise god we have been protected so I'm grateful and thankful for that. But yeah, the, tra the not traffic, but the snow, it was bad. It was really bad. I'm going to show you some snow in just a minute. Um, it was really bad though. Really bad yesterday. 
yesterday was bad because it had the temp drop it rained and snowed so it was like icy roads and yes yeah, monday was more slush but tuesday oh my god it was so bad let me show you the park that's the park cross street from the school and as you can see there's snow 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 everywhere Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. And so I was on team with the other day. Shouldn't have been, Lord. <sighs> I got a video for y'all too. Um, but I was on team with the other day shopping for Pepper. Oh my goodness. Buying her little stuff. But her little goofy self, let me tell you about this cat. So was it Monday night? Sunday night. It might have been Sunday night. Boss man went upstairs and all of a sudden I heard him yelling from his pen to come upstairs. Well, you know, I told you guys Miss Pena done went all out crazy for this cat. Buying her toys and whatever. So, one of her toys has like little strings and feathers and stuff. Well, Pepper called herself eating one of the feathers. Snatched a feather off the toy, went upstairs in the office, and threw up. And boss man stepped in it. So he's yelling for Miss Penn to come. And I'm like, what's going on? So, excuse me, she had to go clean it up. Because he's like, you're a cat. Clean his mouth up, right? But, uh. Yeah, so Pepper was eating feathers. I'm like, oh my gosh. So now I'm like, she can't have none with feathers. But um, anyway, I have bought some things for her. I got her a play mat. Like, you know, what the babies have, you lay them on their back, you know, for the babies to lay on their backs and, you know, or lay on their backs or their stomachs and stuff and you have the things above their head. So she got a play mat coming. I got a little um, tote that says, I think it says cat things on it. It either says cat things or it has a cat on it, something like that. And that way all her toys can be in one little location, pull them out, play, and then clean them up. You know what I mean? Um, I got her an uh, automated uh, feeder and waterer. I want to see how it does, you know, before I decide to buy a more expensive one. And I bought her something else. I can't remember. But yeah, spooling that cat. She's so precious, though. She's going to be mad because Miss Pina ain't home yet. So she's going to be dealing with me and then dealing with, uh, dealing with her husband. She sat next to boss man the other day. I think I was at church. She got up on the couch with them and uh, was licking his arm. I was like, ew, what? But yeah, I guess she was licking his arm. And then yesterday... When those two came in from shoveling, she set up in between them and decided she wanted to lean against him. So she leaned over against him, against his leg or whatever, and went to sleep. And uh, what'd she do? She leaned against his leg, went to sleep, and he went to sleep. Yeah, because he went to sleep first. And then so she laid down with him and went to sleep. And then Miss Pina went to sleep too. I was like, y'all funny. I'm glad that it stays lighter now. Um, I'm gonna go and grab this uh, these packages for him and uh, oh I got some cute dresses coming too oh I got some cute dresses coming I got on my black pantsuit today which y'all see that you'll see a picture of it in the um, in the mm -mm. oh no yeah you'll see a picture of it in the Timu video Excuse me. Um, this one fits different than my blue one. My blue one fits. I like the way the blue one fits compared to this one. But um, I was cute. Everybody liked my earrings today. So I had on these wooden fuchsia hot pink earrings. And then I have on um, my black suit. And I have on my red fuchsia black and white top. And I got on this cute wooden bracelet. Everybody said, I love your earrings. I was like, oh, thank you. I wish I was still selling jewelry again. But then again, no, I don't. That was too much on me. 
Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here. I'm sitting here waiting at Miss Pena's job, um, dropping her off. How about, <laughs> I was so excited about spring break that I took off from the job and was headed home. I Luckily, I just got around the corner from the school and Miss Pena says, Mom, I said, what? She said, are you taking me to work? I was like, what? I said, oh, Lord, and it <laughs> had a double back. So, yes, yeah, so I'm just now taking her to work. Um, but, who? thank you, Jesus. We made it to spring break. They said when we come back from spring break, it's like everything's going to be, like, accelerated as far as work and whatever. And I worked harder today than I've worked probably all week. I ain't kidding with you. And I forgot I had printed something and forgot to pick up the print. So I gotta go back to the job anyway. They're gonna be like, I thought you was gone. Child, listen. So yes, I gotta run back over there real quick. Pick this uh, print up, cause it's for um, Miss Peanuts, um, what you call it? Her, uh, mm, mm, mm. one of her meetings next week. So yeah, I don't know how much vlogging I'll do or whatever, you know, next week. I'll try to do a little bit of, a little bit. Uh, we are going on a tour to another school. So I would like to be able to get some footage of that if I can. Um, and then the one that we've already been to, I don't know if I'm going to vlog that. Maybe, I might, I might do audio because um, there's some questions. That's what I have to go pick up is the questions. Um, about certain things that I need to have in my Rolodex anyway for when Miss Pena is going to these different schools so that I can help her with the uh, disability services so that we can get, you know, information about certain things and what they offer. So, yeah. But check this out. <laughs> so, currently right now, I'm working kind of closely with the Advanced Academic advisor at the uh, school and so we we're talking about you know AP classes and this is and this and whatever and you know Miss Pina does take she takes one AP course two of her teachers want her to take two other AP courses so she would be in three well one teacher um, he he made some comments about if she was to take the AP course um, said, well first of all he said she would be a great candidate you know because she you know is very well versed in this that those and the fifth okay we know that um, but then he said something about uh, he said something about her I'm trying to remember what he say golly he said something about um Bus. Like, why wouldn't the bus pull all the way over? <sighs> anyway. Something about she her accommodations wouldn't be looked at thoroughly or something, or she wouldn't be able to get certain accommodations. And I was like, wait a minute, what now? Say that again? But, you know, I just kind of took him for his word. I never did talk to the advanced academic teacher. I mean, advisor. So when I was talking to the advisor today, I was telling him, and he said, wait a minute, who said what now? So he was a little offended because he said, you know, if we have students with accommodations, we do accommodate them and da 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 So I don't know if that was a racist move or what, but you know, um, here nor there, she didn't take that class or the other one. And I'm just going to leave it as is. But let me run up in here and get this print. And then I'm going to run my tail home. Yes. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Whew. Now I'm going home. I got to go home and let the little cat out. Oh, my God. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, anyway, back to the academic advisor. He was not too pleased with the information I gave him today. And I just said, you know, I said, it's fine. I said, because I don't want to, I don't want to overstress her either. So, whew, but I had to go back into the school to go get these questions. So, I had to get this email. But, um, 
the one school that we are going to, they were telling me about the different accommodations that they can extend to um, a student. So, um, you know, they can do like extended time on exams and quizzes, take them in a quiet environment, um, some reasonable flexibility with deadlines when needed and classroom breaks when needed. Um, they also can provide something called exam scribe to write down exam answers. Um, and then so they are taking the same exam but can speak their answers instead of writing. Um, they also have speech to text technology. Um, in addition, they have note-taking technology, reading technology, and the ability for students to meet with um, the the counselor person on a regular basis. And so, um, her case manager just said that, you know, to at, he asked me to ask about access to a mental health professional, access to a trusted advisor case manager, and access to a sensory room or small break room with low lights, quiet, with no other students, or at least limited students. So, which I think is definitely doable. Now, I don't know how they would do that with the bigger schools, but I know the school that gave me that information, I know they have a lot of what he just, he was asking for. So I'm not too worried about that, but I will, even with the bigger schools, I'm still gonna ask those same questions. So what I think I need to do, I need to get a notebook and put all those ideas and things inside of it so that way when we do go to the school, I can be like, you know, hey, look, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. And so go from there. Who we have to turn this heat down. It's 40, well, kind of 40 degrees right now. I had a hair appointment scheduled for this coming Saturday, Saturday before Easter, but we are supposed to get snow and rain again um leading up to easter or on easter sunday and i'm just like yeah you know i'm not too down for that um miss peanut is supposed to be going to church with me i don't know if she's still planning to do that or not she said she was but because it's going to be such a packed Sunday, I don't know if she would really care for that, so to speak, because of um, it being so many people. So I don't know. We shall see. I ain't worried about it right now. <clears throat> so, yeah. But yeah, so I'm not getting my hair done for Easter. And I, at first I was kind of bummed about it, but then I was thinking to myself, like, you know, it's just another Sunday. I mean, last Sunday, did I wear my hair pulled back? No, I wore my hair down. I think I just oiled it and brushed the curls, and the curls was fine. So, you know, I'll just do the same thing. I'll probably oil it really good. i probably flex rod it, and then, you know, wear whatever curls come out of that. But Plus, I didn't want to get my hair done. And hear me, hear me clear. I didn't want to go and pay to get my hair done for Easter and then all next week I'm pretty much going to be either sitting in a bonnet because <laughs> look if I'm not going anywhere honey look <laughs> okay so I was like no sense of me wasting money to be sitting at home so to speak so I said you know it's fine that I don't go and get my hair done I'm going to get my hair done next Saturday the 6th. Uh, because then that way it'll be more fresh when I come back to work after spring break. So, yeah. So I have to see what Miss Peanut is even thinking about. She don't really, she don't like wearing dresses. Technically, she could wear her dress from, from homecoming. I'm going to talk to her and see what she's saying. But her legs might be cold because it's still cold outside. So I don't know. But I'm like, you don't have to really, you know, dress up, up, you know. She would need some on her arms, though. Because that dress is sleeveless, so I don't know. We shall see. I ain't worried about it right now. 
I'm just glad to be off. I'm just so glad to be off. Oh my gosh. So you figure, because I got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's three days. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's eight. Saturday, Sunday. 19. So I'm only out for 10 days? Is that right? It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yep, 10 days. 10 days better than no days, okay? Now I'm going to enjoy myself. My daughter is taking me out to breakfast tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. Yep, she's going to take her mama to breakfast because she said that's what she want to do. I said, okay, I'm, I'm with that. So we're going to go to our little favorite breakfast spot. And yeah, call it a day. I mean, oh, oh, don't you hit me. Mm-hmm. Flying like a bat out of crazy. Don't want none of this over here. You know those people still haven't shoveled their snow? Mm. Don't look like they left home. Gonna shovel their stairs, but then shovel the snow that's in front of their house. Oh, please believe my husband is not gonna work that hard, okay? Child. I should go in and, t well, I haven't cleaned up the floor just yet. So I said you could hear Miss Pepper and all her little glory. That little thing, she be talking, honey. She be talking. Oh, I'm tired. I'm glad the snow is melting. You can see kind of, you can see a little bit of grass, a little bit of grass, but it's melting. So we shall see. Turn this gas off. I don't know if I can. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? How many miles to empty? You can still drive 73 miles. Sounds good. Gosh, I drove three miles between getting off work, taking Miss Peanut to work, me driving back to work, and then driving home. That was three miles. Mm, not too bad. So, anyway, y'all, I'm off work for the next 10 days. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh, my gosh. And you know what, really, what I really want to do? I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep. I want some snacks have snacks in the house and watch TV but we do have we do have two college tours next week so Monday that's about my husband my husband's off so I'm like wherever he want to go if he going to the junkyard whatever he going to do I'm be with my husband on Monday so I told her I said Mon Monday is all about me and daddy then Tuesday we got a college tour all the way in St. Paul then we got um, Wednesday we're home Thursday, we have college tour downtown Minneapolis. And then Friday, Friday is payday. Praise God. Hallelujah. So Friday, paying bills and yeah, paying bills. That's what we're going to be doing Friday. So that be about that. But I'm going to go, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Sorry that it was kind of choppy and long, but I kind of wanted to just merge the different days that I was vlogging all together in one. But y'all, if y'all see me again for a while, just know your girl is chilling. <laughs> oh, the other thing we got, um, class said Friday's payday. Saturday, I get my hair done. Next Saturday, the 6th. And then we're also doing... Um, there's this organization called Prom, Prom Giveaway, I don't remember, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, it's where the girls can go and they can actually get a dress for free. So we have a 12 o'clock slot that we're going to. Um, she hasn't decided if she's going to prom just yet, but I'm like, you know, ain't nothing wrong with, if she don't go this year, she can still pick a dress for next year or pick a dress for whatever else that we got going on. So... Um, so we're going to do that um, on that Saturday. Yeah, so I'm going to rest. You know what I want to do? I kind of don't want to go and get Pepper out just yet because I just want to sit down and go sleep. <laughs> I know that's sad. I know that's sad, but hey, it is what it is. 
But um, yeah, you guys be great. See y'all in a new video.